Now that we have our primary attributes, our vitals, and our skills initialized, let's go ahead and make some setters and getters for those as well. Well, at least a getter. So these will be public. And we'll go with the attribute first. Now all of our skills, our primary attributes, and vitals will be referred to as their index. So we're going to be passing in an int, and we're just going to call this integer index. And what we simply want to return is the attribute at that index. Now let's go ahead and make a function that will also allow us to get our vitals and our skills. I'm just going to copy the one we have for our primary attributes and paste it twice. And then just simply change what it returns. This one will be a vital. And we'll just call it get vital. And one for the skill. Now if you remember when we were setting up our vitals and our skills class, they were inherited from mono, our modified stat. And the modified stat we wanted to use because we wanted to allow certain attributes to be able to modify the base value of our skills and our vitals. So let's go ahead and add that functionality to our base character class now. So we'll come down here. We'll create a private function. It does not return anything. And we'll call it setup vital modifiers and we're also going to want one for skills just cannot type today now the vitals that I have for my character are health energy and mana so now we're going to want to create modifiable attributes, which is this structure we made down here. And we'll want to pass in the attribute that we're going to be using to modify it and the ratio. So let's see how that looks. Now the way you do it is going to depend on the version of Unity you're using. Uh, in 2.61, which is the current uh, released version, it's a little bit longer to do, but uh, it, the short way that I do it in 3.0 uh, doesn't work in 2.61. I believe it's because of the version of Mono that Unity supports in 2.61. But let's just go ahead and make a modifiable stat for health. So for our health, we're going to want to create a modifiable stat or attribute. I'm just going to call it health. It's going to be equal to a new modifiable attribute. And then we're going to want to assign the attribute that it's going to use. So attribute is equal to, then we can just simply say get attribute or primary attribute and then pass it in an integer which we're calling index. To get this integer of the attribute that you want to use, you can typecast it as an int, then use attribute name dot and then the attribute you want to have modify it. So for my health, I'm going to use constitution. And you'll also want to set the ratio that you're going to use. So the ratio is exactly how much of that particular attribute is going to go towards modifying your, your vital in this instance. So I'm going to say 0.5. It's a float. So the way I have this set up right now is I'm saying that the attribute is going to be constitution and I'm going to assign half the value of constitution to health. Now to assign it to the health vital, we can just go get vital. Now it's going to want an integer, but we want to use the name we set up in the enumeration. So we'll type cast again as an integer. Then we'll say vital name. 
In the name of the vital, we want to assign this health modifiable attribute to. So we're assigning it to health. Dot add modifier. And then the modifier we want to add, which is the one we just created, health. So there we go. That's all we needed to do to add uh, half our constitution to our health. Now in Unity 3, you can do it in one line of code. Now you notice it's pretty much the exact same thing. We have our get vital. We're typecasting our attribute name to an integer. Then we're going to add a modifier. Then instead of typing all of this out, because we don't really need to store this variable health, uh, we can just say give us a new modifiable attribute where the attribute name or where the attribute is equal to the attribute right here which will be our constitution and we're going to assign a ratio of 0.5 now I'll add my modifiable attributes for my energy and my mana and I'll pause the video while I do that just to save time okay so I've added a modifier for my energy and my mana uh, on my energy, I'm using constitution as well, but I'm going to add the full value of the constitution. So my ratio is 1 to my energy. And the same thing with my mana. I'm using willpower as my modifying attribute, and I'm adding a ratio of 1 to my mana. Now you can also set up multiple uh, modifying attributes for one skill or, or even your vitals if you wish. And we'll be doing it that way for our skills. So let's take a look to see how that looks. Now I've made the modifying attributes for my melee offense, and I'm using two of them. I've simply named the modify, or sorry, melee offense modifier one and melee offense modifier two. And for the first one, I've set the attribute to be might, and I'm going to add a third of the might to my melee offense skill. And then for my second modifier, I've set it to my nimbleness, and I'm going to add a third of it as well. Then down here, I just simply call the skill I want to add my modifiers to. So in this case, it's melee offense, and I just simply add the modifiers that I created up here. Now you can go through and do the, this exact same process over and over again for all the different skills that you've implemented in your character class, and I'll show you what mine looks like at the end. But one thing I did want to cover before the end of this video was ex what exactly is this int uh, you know, that we're putting in front of our skill name? Now on enumerations, if we go over and look at our attribute, we notice that we have a list format right here. Now each of these also have an integer value, and by default, if you don't assign a value to them, it's going to start off at zero, and then just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and on up to as many as you have. But let's say you wanted to actually def specify a certain value for them. So you could say might equals one. Constitution equals five. Nimbleness equals, you know, two or three. And you can do it that way if you want, but I tend just to make a list. Uh, the downside of doing it this way here is that uh, once I actually have my game up and running, I can add more to the list, but I can't change the order that they're in here. So let's go back and I'll finish adding all the rest of my skill modifiers and set up my my skills now after a little bit of experimentation I realized that if I add a, a constructor for our modifiable attribute which is right here and we pass in the attribute that we want and the ratio and then we assign it to our structures attribute and ratio variables we can actually get away with doing the one line method that I was talking about before so here's what I ended up after I added the, the constructor to my modifiable attributes. So I just simply get the vital or the skill. I use its int value to find out exactly which stat I'm going to be adding a modifier to. Then I create a new modifiable attribute. I get the primary attribute that I want to use to modify and its ratio. As you can see here, I've gone through and done all three of my vitals and also all six of my skills. Now that's about it for our base character class. Next we're gonna create our mob class and our actual playable character class.